Cool. So the next thing we need to do is get the assets that I've actually set up for you guys because I'm a kind, I'm a sound guy like that. So to help save you guys time, I've actually uploaded some of these assets to GitHub already. Now the link for this will be in the description of the video and it should also be maybe someplace at this video right here, you should see it. So all we need to do is go into GitHub when you click on the link, uh, go to code and then just hit download zip. Now I've already downloaded this zip, so I've already got it on my machine. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm actually going to just go here and I'm just gonna drag this onto my desktop so it's easier for me to uh, use. So I'm just gonna put it there. All right, cool. So <clears throat> when you go into football chance, don't, with the resources, um, go into assets. Um, don't just drag everything in just yet. I'll tell you when to drag in certain things. So the first thing we need to drag in is the um, resources folder. So let's drag this folder in. When you drag this in, make sure you tick copy items if needed is ticked and create groups as well, not folder references and the target is ticked here for whatever you called your app and hit finish. Okay, cool. So now we've got this in the project. So what we're also gonna do is we're also gonna drag in the assets. So we're actually gonna delete this assets and replace it with this one. So if you just go onto assets here, right click, delete. And then, yep, we wanna move to the trash. We don't need you no more, bro. And then we're just gonna get the assets here. And then we're just gonna drag this here. Same thing again, copy items if needed, create groups and make sure a target selected and hit finish. Okay, cool. So just to go into a bit uh, more detail in terms of what these um, are that we just dragged in. So we open up the resources folder. You can see I've got all the football chants yeah this took a lot of time guys so <laughs> i thought i'd just do it for you um and then if we go into teams.swift we've got something here called an enum so what is an enum so an enum is basically like a type which literally lets you specify cases um so like almost like unique identifiers um so in this enum we have a case for each team to identify each team. And the reason why we use an enum, um, again, it's using like a string to identify a team, is because it's type safe. So we can't really mess up this or misspell it because if we do, then the compiler will tell us like, hey, this case doesn't exist. So we, whenever you basically have a um, identifier or you need to identify something or put something in different sections or whatnot, nine times out of ten um you want to use an enum just because they're type safe so if we scroll down here we have an extension so we have an extension on this enum and within that extension we have a computer property um called badge which is our type ui image and what we do here is we basically check the type um of case it is so if the case self if the case is arsenal then return this um image and so on and so forth if you scroll down, we do the exact same thing here where we have another computer property, um, background and the color. And then we also have another one with the chant file. So these are the file names for the chants here. And again, we're just checking the type of the enum and returning the file name. So this here, what I've just done with extensions is very swifty, you could say. And um, we use extensions on enums and they have like implementations so with a computer property it's a very swifty way of doing things so in java for example you'd have a function called like get badge name or get chant file name or whatever in swift um nine times out of ten um you would use a computer property for a single computation so what will happen is whatever you whatever is in the curly braces here if I just expand the screen, whatever's, in, whatever's inside the curly braces here is what's actually going to execute. So what's going to happen now is if I call this um, property here, um, which you'll see me use later, it'll actually check the type. So if it's arsenal, and then if it matches this case here, arsenal, then it'll execute this line, return it, and stop execution. So that's what this is. And we're mainly going to be using this team type, team type enum for our model later to identify which row in the list is um, basically um, which team um, 
So like I said before, it's type safe. So if we go into the assets, you'll see here that we have two folders. So we have one folder here, football badges. And you normally, like if this is your first time, you probably never saw this before, but if you have saw this before, you normally have three um, like slots here. So one, two, three, because I most Apple um, projects by default have it where you can upload an asset in 1x, 2x, 3x the size. In this case, we're not actually going to do that. We're actually going to be using PDFs. And the reason why we're using PDFs is because they're scalable. So if you just provide one size and the application will actually scale it. So it's just um, saves um, space and it also helps maintain our assets much easier. So in order to make sure that you do this in the future though, so if in the future, if you use PDFs to make sure that um, you're actually getting that capability, you need to make sure that you select this checkbox here, preserve vector data, and also make sure scale is on single scale. So you only have the one scale and that way the application will scale the image size um, on the device. And as you can see here, if we open up football colors, we have all our colors as well using colored assets. So it's just nice and clean. We get a nice visual representation of all our colors. So yeah, as you can, guys can tell, this was a lot of effort and um, it was probably the most tedious thing that I had to do, but anything for you guys to teach you guys how to build this app. So the next bit is gonna be about table views. So let's get started on that. And don't forget guys to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.